Today, most users carry several mobile devices, like smartphones or tablets. These small computers feature powerful processors, high-resolution screens, and multi-touch input. What if you could easily use their power in concert? Wouldn't it be great to put them side by side and use them as if they were one large device? To explore this, we present Huddle Lamp, a desk lamp with an integrated camera. The camera tracks the position of multiple devices and hands on and above a table. With Huddle Lamp's vision system, users can simply put their devices on a table and start to use them together right away. Let's have a closer look at this. Each device that is put on the table is identified using a virtual marker on its screen. By this device has joined the huddle and can now be used to work together. In this example, the workspace just contains some letters. These objects can be moved between different mobile devices and rearranged using multi-touch. To the users, this feels as if they were working with just one large tiled display. To achieve this, we use our approach of hybrid sensing. We simultaneously track devices in color images and infrared images from the depth camera. We then combine these results to improve the overall tracking quality. Using hybrid sensing, we are more tolerant to reflections or changes in ambient light. As a result, the movement of mobile screens can be precisely tracked with 25 to 30 frames per second. So what kind of interaction techniques can we now provide to users? Let us explore the design space with a few examples. First, since we know exactly where a tablet is, we can use it as a peephole into a virtual workspace. By physically moving it, users can explore virtual content, for example a map. This feels as if the map would be sticking to the table's surface. Previous studies have shown that this kind of physical navigation helps users. They become better navigating and memorizing maps and remembering distances between different locations. Huddle Lamp also enables what we call Huddle Navigation. Users can create larger displays to navigate virtual content simply by putting multiple devices side by side. After this, they can navigate as if they were working with one large device, for example an interactive tabletop. This is also possible for multiple users. Users can create two different huddles to explore maps on their own. They can also move devices from one huddle to another to distribute display space as needed. The movement of devices can also be used to change their role. Here rotating a tablet reveals a menu for selecting map layers. Also, when users pull a tablet towards them, it turns into a space for note-taking with a stylus. Ideally, such spatially aware menus or modes create a more fluid and natural interaction. Knowing where devices are and how they are located to each other also enables cross-device object movements. For example, objects can be flicked between devices in a playful manner. But this also enables more serious applications. When browsing web pages, users can flick interesting content to other devices. This enables users to read content on better screens, memorize it for later use, compare it or pass it to other users. By this, users can make optimal use of the available display space and also create a kind of physical and spatial bookmarking. An alternative to flicking is the pick, drag and drop gesture. It combines the touch detection of mobile devices with the hand tracking of Huddle Lamp. Users tap objects to pick them up and then move them with their hand to the destination device. Finally, we would like to mention that Huddle Lamp applications are web applications. There is no need for prior installation of software on the mobile devices. Users only have to navigate to a web page with their mobile device to join a huddle. This enables true ad hoc scenarios of use that will change how we think about and design for multi-user and multi-device mobile applications.